The year is 2018. You're walking home from school, there's currently a massive heat wave going on. After you take off your sweaty tie and blazer, you're whack on Fortnite. You follow this by some FIFA 18. You're waiting for England to play Tunisia in the World Cup. Life cannot get any better. I wanted to speak about the year 2018. Just like overall how goated it was. The weather was banging, the music was banging, gaming was at its best. Right, first yeah, we've got to speak about the Premier League. In this season, Man City won it for the first time in three years. Since then, it's been a farmer's league because they've just smashed it out every season. Gabriel Jesus carried them to 100 points on the last day of the season. And Jose Mourinho surprisingly carried United to second in the league. 19 points behind City. Wow, that is Guardiola ball its finest. This year, Mo Salah was like, he should have won the Ballon d'Or in my opinion. He was insane. If Ramos didn't snap him in the final of the Champions League, I think he could have won it. This was the first year as well, the Salah, Firmino and Mane drive. If you remember this great song. I heard it everywhere for at least three months. I'm also pretty certain this was the year Aaron Moy from Huddersfield Town was just like playing levels. If I'm right I'm thinking, he had like three or four different informs on FIFA. You just knew he played good if you got an inform. This was also the season where Burnley got European football, finishing seventh. Pretty exciting for some people. <laughs> Arsene Wenger finally left Arsenal after serving them for many years. Legends such as Francesco Totti and Andre Iniesta finally retired. As well as Xabi Alonso who posted this on Twitter and to this day is all over your timeline. This was also the year of probably the world's worst swap deal with uh, Mkhitaryan and Alexis Sanchez. Arsenal and United just both didn't get anything from it, really. Olivier Giroud left Arsenal to head to Chelsea. Theo Walcott got off to a nice start at Evan. Yeah, look, Liverpool's win there. They bought in Virgil van Dijk, Oxlade Chamberlain, Andy Robertson, Mo Salah that year as well. Rooney also went back to his boyhood club playing with Everton, where he was scoring ridiculous goals like this. Hart is there. And sent straight back by Rooney. Javier Hernandez left by Leverkusen to go join West Ham, where he racked up eight goals, not too bad. And Joe Hart also got a lot of playing time there as well. We can't not speak about the Ballon d'Or. Messi and Ronaldo finally didn't win it. Luka Modric stepped in and claimed his first Ballon d'Or. Real Madrid won their third consecutive Champions League, beating Liverpool 3-1 in the final. Ramos was an absolute smoke. Can we just speak about how savage this man was? I remember watching this wanting Liverpool to lose so bad, and something like that just goes and happens. This game was also Cristiano Ronaldo's last Real Madrid game. It's the last time we would see him in a shirt and we didn't even know it. After the summer, he would move to Juventus and you know what happens after that. Anyway, let's go back three months when the World Cup began in Russia. Oh, what a feeling. Look what we've overcome. Prime Fortnite, Heat Wave, Love Island if you watched it. I didn't personally, but I know a lot of people who did. Wow, like UK culture was just like top notch then. It was Russia versus Saudi Arabia where Russia smoked in 5-0. England would play Tunisia, which I think was on a Tuesday night, I want to say. Harry Kane scored in nine minutes of the game after England had 18 shots. I think I remember seeing an uh, Instagram post during this game and it was like, if Lingard, if Jesse Lingard shot Tupac, he, he would still be alive. Like, I remember that man had so many chances that game. England's number seven as well. England versus Panama on a boiling hot Saturday afternoon. I remember this clear as day. Harry Kane had a trick, John Stones double and a Jesse Lingard banger. Sent England flying into the game against Belgium where we actually didn't even need to win the game. <laughs> it made life easier if we lost or drew. And then Yanis I scored a goal and um, another iconic moment was producing this game off the top of my memory. Batshuayi whacked the ball into the post and hit his own face. Anyway, England gone to get the easier path uh, through to the World Cup. With Yeri Mina equalising the 93rd minute, it went into extra time penalties. England, penalties, major tournament, we won 4-3. Eric Dyer stepped up. Mate, it was meant to be. World Cup quarterfinals. This was once again on a Saturday afternoon. Slabhead comes in clutch with Deli Ali, making a header, I want to say. And with only two shots on target, it's a typical... Brexit win, 2-0 against Sweden, and then it was the semi-final. It's a Wednesday night, all day you've been buzzing for this game. This is the moment where England could go through to a World Cup final. I actually remember playing a game of Fortnite, me and my mate like went over the time, we didn't mean to go into the England game. Anyway, we're trying to get this win on Fortnite and uh, like trying to rush as we watch this England game. And then I'll just say half the street go nuts. Here in Trippier has just gone and scored a free kick in the fifth minute of the World Cup semi-final. Wow, I think that was just like the ultimate high for this country. And the highest we've been in in the past is like six, seven years. And then we dropped off. Southgate ball was in full flow. Kane should have squared the ball. Ivan Perisic goes on to equalise in the 68th minute, sending us into extra time. I can't even watch this game anymore. I don't even want to see the highlights for this editing. Mario Mandzukic sends them 2-1 up in the 109th minute in extra time. Fuck sake. After we try and make something when the game's not even in 
play. We go on to lose 2-1. And it's a sad day for England. And football did not come home that day. Oh, yeah. And we had, like, a third place game where no one actually watched it. Oh, and how could I forget about that Champions League final? Bro, fucking carry us. Do you remember that? Bale scored a bicycle kick. And that just goes... No one even remembers that goal because of Karius' performance and how bad it was. He gifted two goals away in a Champions League final. Oh, my God. Let me know your best memories from 2018. That year for me was goated. I was about like 14 and life was just so chill. It was mid-mate gaming. Everything I've said in this video was just at the top.